You know, one of my favorite things about this ham radio hobby is packet radio. Many of you that watch my channel probably already know that I do run a BPQ32 packet node in the Panama City, Florida area. I guess my love of packet radio stems from my childhood. I grew up in the 80s. I had a Tandy 1000 computer. It was the family computer. And I spent many hours dialing up local bulletin boards and playing games, chatting keyboard to keyboard and sending and receiving messages. I just, I loved it. When I got into ham radio, I learned about packet radio and found out that, you know, a lot of the things I did as a younger person, I could do as an adult using ham radio. And it's always really fascinated me linking a computer to a radio and being able to communicate that way. You know, so I've got an IC705, I've got a Raspberry Pi, I've used KM4 ACK's build a pie to get some ham radio tools onto this pie and, and use it successfully. I've used Winlink, Packet Winlink, uh, RDOP Winlink, things like that, and some other uh, ham radio tools on there. But one thing that I am missing from this build a pie is a terminal emulator, something where I can call up a bulletin board or a local. Uh, local packet node and and use a keyboard and chat keyboard to keyboard send a message send a message to somebody else just using the keyboard no no fancy graphic user interface nothing like that just a simple terminal emulator it's missing so I did a little research and I found a program called Linpack. I found a website that showed exactly what I needed to do to get this Linpack program installed on my Raspberry Pi. And I've played around with it in the shack here inside and it seems to work. So today, I want to take it out and operate in the field and do some packet radio, terminal packet radio in the field and show you what this Linpack program is all about. So let's go out to the park, Kinsall Park, for a little bit of packet radio fun. Connectors to connectors, not the ideal way but when it comes to KK4 DIV, <laughs> this is the way. I discovered something the other day. Uh, this little Molly pouch I used for my little uh, cheapest go kit I could get on eBay uh, fits a BioNO 20 amp hour battery perfectly. Look at that. Just goes right in there malt attaches via the molly webbing onto the side of the backpack and look at that you carry a 20 amp hour battery off the side of the pack does add a little bit of weight but man with qrp and a 20 amp hour battery you can run all day probably Ooh, cables Goodness, cable mess the micro usb data there cover off polycarbonate cover looks great plug that in there and we're plugging in the pie okay the pie is on all right I turned my truck around so I could get a, a better view of this laptop without the sun shining down on it and you can get a better view behind me what we have here is we have the IC705, 
Uh, it's on my packet frequency right now, 145.05. I have a Raspberry Pi interface to the IC705. Uh, we're running off a 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate bio -Inno battery. Great battery, fits in this little side pouch like I showed just a moment ago. And we're running into a Slim Jim J-Pole, a roll-up J-Pole. Oh, that's only, you know, maybe 10 feet or so up in the air. And we are a couple of miles from the house as the crow flies. So uh, we're going to see about signing in to, if you heard that, that was my station beaconing uh, at the house. Uh, we're going to see if we can sign in to our, uh, the local node here, my node, KK4DIV-7 and uh, show you how all of this works with uh, the Raspberry Pi and uh, remoting into the Pi using this tablet. All right, there is still a crazy glare on the screen. Man, I wish, <laughs> I wish I had a better way of doing this. But this is the interface to the Raspberry Pi. This is the Raspberry Pi desktop. The first thing we want to do is we want to click on this FL rig and we're going to execute this. So this is going to turn on rig control. See there it is, rig control for my IC705, it's showing 145.05, 145.05 just to show you if we turn this. It also changes there, 145.065, but we were gonna to wanna to be at 145.05. That is the frequency of my packet station. Now, I created a couple of scripts here. Um, first, we wanna run rig control. It's gonna turn on rig control down here. Now, it says, I don't know if you can see that, but rig control active. We're going to run this direwolf script. And now it says direwolf is active. And I'm going to run this start linpack script. All right, let's pause right there just a moment. I'm showing three different scripts that I'm clicking on here. Uh, one to start up direwolf, one to start up uh, the connection between direwolf and FL rig, and a third one that starts linpack. Uh, I wrote those scripts, those are three separate bash scripts, and I'm going to go into that more detail in a future video where I show how I got everything up and running on this uh, Raspberry Pi. Today I just wanted to bring you out with me and show you it all working together. Okay, if you can see this, now that we've got all the uh, scripts running to get everything connected. We're going to type in in a new terminal window lin pack l i n p a c all lowercase hit enter. So there we go. And now this is the lin pack screen. Let's see if we can make that nice and big. It can be. I don't know how well that shows up. Sorry guys, I wish I had a better way of doing this with this glare, but it is what it is. I'm outside and that's what 73 Outdoors is all about, is being outside when you're doing this kind of stuff. I gotta put colon C for a command. KK4DIV-7. There it is. All right, so packet node in Lynn Haven, Florida, and those are the commands. So we type in BBS. All right. And we're going to type in send personal SP. And I'm going to send a message to my friend Ken up in Wisconsin. Yes, W9GM error two. Oh, I got duh. That's rookie mistake. Send personal to W9GM. And title. Enter title. We're gonna say good. 
morning from the park. So then you just type away. Hi, Ken. And then to end, we type slash EX on its own line. That will end the message. So it says message is saved. And then we can type from here, we can also see what messages we have. So if you type in LM, it's going to give a list of messages that are, that are to me. So these are some messages I have that have been sent to me. Uh, you can list last 10. This will list the last 10 messages on the bulletin board. Uh, this will include bulletins and things like that. So, yep, so this is the last 10 messages. There's that uh, one I sent to Ken, W9GM. It's sitting in there. It will be forwarded here uh, in a little while to Ken. The next time our stations connect for the forwarding, uh, that will be forwarded to him and that will change from PN to PF uh, for personal, from personal new to personal forwarded. Uh, you can go back to the node. This takes us out of the bulletin board and brings us back to the node. It says return to node. Question mark will give us the commands. Once again, we can type in nodes to see the node list of all the nodes that are I'm currently connected to, so this will give us the node list here once it goes. There we go, now we're going to start receiving the node list. So anything you can do uh, with a packet on a command line into a, into a node, you can do with uh, this Linpack software. I uh, really enjoyed playing around with this at the house. This is my first time bringing it out to the field and using it. So there you go. You can see all the uh, nodes uh, that you can access from mine. Uh, PE1, RRR over in the Netherlands, uh, RED over in the Netherlands, uh, OH5RM. Uh, so you can see you, there's there's worldwide stations here, GM, GM3, YEW. Uh, so worldwide, you can connect to a lot of different nodes. And then once you connect to those nodes, then there's even more nodes you connect to. You can node hop uh, using uh, my station. But uh, that's through the internet. Uh, unfortunately, we are in a, uh, a, a packet uh, isolated area here where I don't have any uh, HF packet connections. Uh, but um, trying to get more people interested. So. That's Linpack. Morning. Morning. Nope, not fishing. Not fishing. Nope, radio. The police always want to know what I'm doing. <laughs> Talking to Chinese spy balloons. I might not want to say that. <laughs> Love it. All right, so we're gonna be wrapping up here. Uh, we've got, uh, we're connected. We're gonna hit B for buy, and that will, that's the, com uh, that's the uh, node command to disconnect. We hit that, and give it a second. Let it communicate to the node. Maybe, there it goes. All right, and disconnected from KK4DIV-7. And that is how we do that. We're gonna hit that. We're gonna log out. And we're gonna shut down the Pi. Now I can get 
that. And we're shutting down. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of Lynn Pack and Packet Radio from the park in Lynn Haven, Florida. If you like what you see, as always, please give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share it and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support the channel further, please visit me over at patreon.com slash bobplank. I sure do appreciate each and every one of my supporters over there. Well, that's it. We'll say 73 from Bob, KK4DIV, and the channel 73 Outdoors. Bye-bye.